I paid stupid money for this. You shouldn't do it. Don't be like me. Hi everyone, my name is Arissa and I'm irresponsible with my money. Uh, today we're reviewing the Canon Legra Mini X. Uh, this camera is also known as the Vixia Mini X or the Ivis Mini X depending on the territory because Canon likes to confuse us. Let's get this out of the way. Why review a camera that's been discontinued since 2017? Well, my friends, the answer is K-pop. Uh, for some reason, K-pop stars like Jungkook, Jenny, and Lisa were spotted using these cameras. And we know what happens next when you combine the powers of Blinks and ARMY. I'm not a K-pop fan, but I have to admit they picked a really good camera to use. The Canon Legra Mini X was launched in October 2014 and it's an upgraded version of its predecessor, the Legra Mini. It boasts a high-performance microphone for enhanced audio, um, and it has built-in Wi-Fi. The video is recorded in either AVCHD or MP4 format and has a 6.8cm touchscreen. The lens is a 16.8mm f2.8 fisheye lens, which gives a really nice wide field of view. If you hate that fisheye look though, there is also an option for a punched-in 35mm view to cut off the distortion. This is a much smaller field of view. I'm sure if I don't do the punching in, uh, I can still probably do a decent stabilization with the wide angle. Uh, this crop mode also gives you an electronic image stabilization for smoother footage. Uh, it takes 12.8 megapixel JPEG images and there is also a close-up mode. But this is a video first camera, a mini camcorder for the older folks on this channel like myself. Uh, the Legro Mini X is somewhat of an oddball, it doesn't look like a traditional camcorder and it's also not an action camera. But 9 years after its launch, the Legro Mini X is just as relevant as ever for today's vloggers and content creators with a few caveats. The articulating screen on this camera means you're able to use the camera both as a selfie cam or as a regular forward-facing camera. It has built-in stereo microphone which has 8 audio scenes for you to select from. From speech, music festival, meeting to noise suppression. But the best part about the camera is the ability to plug in external mic uh, with its mic jack and also monitor audio with its headphone jack. There is also an uncompressed HDMI output and Wi-Fi, wow. Um, there is an app that's stuck in the 2010s that you can use to remotely control the camera and apparently live streaming functions as well. But I haven't had any luck trying to connect the camera to the app so I honestly wouldn't know. I personally own a few cameras which are suitable for vlogging. I made a video listing my top three. Uh, link above to watch it. Uh, the reason why I didn't include this camera is because it's no longer in production and it's quite expensive to purchase. The price has been ruined the same way Kendall Jenner ruined the Contax T2 for everyone. However, I would still like to talk about the Legra Mini X and maybe Canon can think about reintroducing this line and improving upon this camera. I love the design of this camera. I'm at best a high-functioning introvert and I'm rubbish at vlogging and talking to the camera while I'm outside and I like being discreet. Holding a large DSLR or mirrorless camera is really not for me so the form factor is a huge consideration when I'm vlogging. Cameras like the Insta360 GO 2 and the DJI Pocket 2 do a really good job at being stealthy but the lack of screen or having a tiny tiny screen makes it really hard for me to frame my shots. Compared to the GO 2 and Pocket 2, the Legra Mini X has a really generous screen size. It's also touchscreen which makes the controls easy. Um, you hold the camera up this way to film yourself and the record button is just conveniently placed where you can start or stop recording easily. The same with the play button, you can easily review your shots. The placement of the microphone is also important in this case. With the way you're holding the camera, it's almost impossible to block the mics, so your audio won't be distorted or muffled. If you want to kit out this camera with the latest wireless mics like the Rode Wireless Go or the DJI Wireless Mic, it's totally possible to do so thanks to the mic jack on the left side of the camera. If you're filming someone else or filming a performance, you can also monitor the audio with the mic jack. Startup is really simple. There is an on-off lever which simultaneously switches on the camera and slides open the front to reveal the lens. This design is great because you're not accidentally switching on the camera and draining its battery. Um, you also don't have to bother with the lens cap which could potentially fall off and scratch your lens. At the bottom, there is a stand which lets you adjust the angle which you want your camera to film. There is also a quarter 20 thread to let you screw the camera onto a tripod. You also find the uh, battery compartment which houses the SD card. It uses the NB12L battery uh, which gives you about 2 hours and 50 minutes of recording time on 1080p and MP4 format. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they produce this battery anymore but you still might be able to find third party options online. I hate the app. Um, but it was also an app 
that's developed in 2014 for a phone that exists during that time. I did not manage to connect it to my iPhone 14 Pro Max at all and wasn't able to test out any of the Wi-Fi functions on this camera. This is really a shame because I have a Sony QX1 which is equally old and the app that it's using is the same one as you would be even with their latest camera. A link up here if you want to watch my full video on the review of my Sony QX1. Would I recommend this camera? Absolutely not unless there was a cheap one out there. This camera retailed at 599 Singapore dollars or US 399.99 at the time of its launch. I got it three weeks ago at 800 Singapore dollars. I paid stupid money for this. You shouldn't do it. Don't be like me. Um, but otherwise, it's a really capable vlogging camera. I forgot who said it, but someone in YouTube said that viewers can forgive bad visuals, but they cannot forgive bad audio. This camera is a really old and outdated one with its 1080p video recording, but its built-in microphone is still very usable today. Even if it wasn't, you still had the option to plug in an external microphone to keep the video you're shooting up to date with today's audio standards. If you're watching this Canon, please come up with a new version of this. The world needs this. I need this. All I'm asking for is 4K 60p recording, minor tweaks to the microphone, and an upgraded lens. And if you can throw in vertical recording for the TikTok kids, that would be great as well. Uh, for those of you who are watching until here, please tell me what improvements you'd like to see in an upgraded version of the Legra Mini X. If you like content like this one, please hit the subscribe button. I create content about fashion, beauty, tech and travel, and I occasionally vlog as well. So please follow me on my socials and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much as always for staying until the end of the video. I will see you back at my channel very soon. Bye!